we're checking out a barley wine this time. This is Dogfish Head's old school barley wine. I've never had it before. Um, it is an older bottle. This bottle, it's uh, the dating is uh, November 21st of 2008, so it has just over about uh, two years on it. And it says, you know, it's this one's pretty much uh, one that you want to age probably than have fresh. I mean, some people clearly will like this fresh, but um, even around the bottle, it says, you know, have one now, then bury one somewhere out in the woods for a couple of years. Um, this has just been in my cellar for a while. I've never had it, so uh, we're gonna see what it's all about. I believe, and this one is 15% uh, ABV, so it is up there. They give you the uh, sort of the warning cap right there. Anything that's fluorescent yellow probably should uh, attract some attention. Let's see what we got here. All right. It's pouring a really sort of dark ruby. Slightly, you know, kind of on that auburn end. That's looking real nice. There's, you know, definitely still plenty of carbonation I can see coming off the bottom. And it's got, eh, maybe just like half inch of uh, tan head here. But again, you're not going to expect much, um, much in the way of a head on this beer when you're working with 15% uh, ABV. Okay, it's definitely, it's a, has a real sweet smell at first. Definitely underlying notes, there's some toffee in there. Caramel, and then you're, because there is, there are, uh, I believe, figs. I'm not sure if it says right on here. There's figs and, it's like prunes or something else that they use to, uh, to help ferment this. And those are sort of um, coming through on the nose too. There's for fifteen percent. There's actually I can't detect any alcohol in this, but it smells really nice. So let's see what it tastes like. Again, for first thing I'm noticing when I'm thinking 15% is there's going to be a huge amount of booze. And there's a little bit there, but nowhere near what you'd expect for the percentage. I think you're definitely you're starting off with sort of a a malty sort of presence with, you can really taste at that point the the um, sort of dried fruit aspect to it. Um, towards the end, I'm noticing that it's getting, I guess a sweeter um, kind of profile right, right at the end of the taste. And again, sort of you're getting that sort of a you know a, a rich malt sort of uh, caramel sweetness that just sort of carries the beer from beginning to end. There's a little more, I think, of the dark fruit. <coughs> excuse me, up front, but overall, it's it seems it's a very smooth, very drinkable beer. And again, that's probably, it has over two years on it. And I've heard that fresh from a couple friends that have had it wasn't much of a pleasure to drink, but this isn't bad. It's not my favorite, but it's certainly not the worst I've had. Yeah, definitely, this is something you can sit with for a while. Um, take a couple hours to enjoy. 
seems to be leaving some pretty decent lacing going on there. And I'd say overall, it's it's not a bad beer. I'm enjoying this quite a bit. So there you have it. That is the Dogfish Head Old School Barley Wine.